Hello friends, in the previous video, we have discussed how we can generate the SharePoint client ID, client secret uh, and tenant ID in the SharePoint on, online and using those details, how we can generate the access token in Postman. And also we have seen how to fetch the SharePoint sites or list data using those uh, credentials we have created, we have generated in the SharePoint online. Now in this video, I'm going to show you using those credentials uh, uh, how we can generate uh, the SharePoint access token and how to fetch the SharePoint data in .NET C Sharp code. So for that, I have already created a project in C Sharp .NET in .NET Core. I have created a console application. So this is the console application I have created, and this is the program.cs. In this program.cs, this is the main method uh, for uh, which the control will come. Enter in the main method. So I want to show you first of all uh, the NuGet packages that are required. Uh, these are all the required NuGet packages that we need to install to uh, perform these operations. And I have added a app settings.json file. In this app settings.json file, I have entered all the required endpoints and the required credentials to connect to the SharePoint site. So this is the token endpoint to connect to the to generate a token. And this is the site data endpoint, like to fetch the site data information. And this is the list endpoint, like to fetch the list information in the site. Uh, here we need to end uh, in the place of this placeholder, we need to enter the site ID, right? Uh, and here, if you observe here in this placeholder, you need to enter the tenant ID uh, in the token endpoint to fetch the access token. And coming to list endpoint, uh, this is the site the site ID you need to provide. Once you provide the site ID, we will get the lists in that SharePoint site. And to get the list data, you need to enter the site ID, list ID. <clears throat> then we will get all the list of fields in that list, uh, in that site, right? And this is the update. Like uh, we need, we can also perform the update operation. Uh, like uh, we can update the fields of a list in the site in SharePoint and this is the endpoint. So for this endpoint, you need to provide site ID, list ID and the item ID, the item for which we want to update and the fields and uh, these are the fields and we need, we will pass the fields as a body in JSON structure. Uh, now we will see one by one the operations. Uh, as I have already explained, what are the required packages we need to install? And one more thing I want to show you is in the app settings.json file, uh, we have to go to properties. Here we need to set this copy to output directory property to this value, copy if you were. Otherwise, we cannot read these values from the app settings.json file. Now, coming to the code, uh, this is the program.cs main method. So uh, we are fetching all the required SharePoint credentials, uh, all the sh required SharePoint credentials from the app settings.json file. And using those details, uh, first of all, uh, we are creating a list of uh, key value pair items. And for in those list of key value pair items, we are passing the grant type, client ID, client secret, resource, tenant. We will have all those details in app settings.json. So we are reading from these details. We are reading these details from the app settings.json and we are passing here and this is a key value pairs and we are passing it to the content http content we are creating and to this content and to this token endpoint token endpoint is nothing but this endpoint in this token endpoint <coughs> we are uh, also if you go to token endpoint yeah we are formatting see here token endpoint formatting of tenant so i am passing the tenant id so this is the tenant id here in this placeholder we need to pass the tenant id so in this way we are calling this uh, token endpoint by the post async method. Uh, by calling this method, uh, passing these values, required values, client ID, client secret, uh, we will generate the access token. So once we get the access token, we are just deserializing it to the to this object. We need to create the required entities as well. So access token will have I have created a class. Access token will have these properties: token type expires in. So we have already created a class with this structure and we are deserializing the content uh, uh, to this uh, class and we will get that access token using this access token we are first get fetching the sharepoint uh, site data endpoint so 
this is the SharePoint site data endpoint and this is the site name for which site we want to connect these the sites so in this site data endpoint we are fetching it from the app settings.json <coughs> and we are passing the access token that which we have generated above and we are uh, calling this site data endpoint method and we are fetching the site data in this site data we will get the site data and from that we will have the site data id so sharepoint is nothing but it contains sites and each site contains the lists so once we fetch the site data in this site data we will get the site id so using that site id we will access the list so this is the list endpoint so to this endpoint we will pass the site id here and we will get the lists in that site once we get the lists uh, we will fetch, fetch the specific list for example i just i am just hard coding a list with the tasks and in that list we will get that particular list data so in this way uh, we can <clears throat> generate we can fetch the sharepoint data let us run this code and check by debugging it so i'm attaching a breakpoint here i am just running this application now it has hit the breakpoint so we are getting first first of all we are fetching all the details from the app settings.json file like the token endpoint client id client secret resource grant type right and here we will uh, frame the list of key value pairs and we are calling this endpoint token endpoint so if you see here this is the tenant id so we will calling this once we get once we call this in the token if you see here this is the token we got so token type this is the access token so once we get the access token we are connecting to the one particular sharepoint site with a particular theme as we have defined in the app settings.json file so we are fetching that particular site data so if you see the response so this is the site data this is the site data and this is the site id we need to provide and in that site id uh, we will fetch the lists in that site so for that again we are calling that list data endpoint we are fetching the lists in that site so for that we observe the list data sharepoint list data if you see here json visualizer these are the various lists in that sharepoint site right so in these various lists we are just particularly fetching one list with this name tasks so in this task and this is the task data if you see here then the response 200 okay and in this is the list data right if you see the json visualizer this is the list data this list and this list has various fields right so in this way we can fetch the site data list data and this is the endpoint to update like for example I have this is the endpoint to update and in this endpoint like if you see here this is the endpoint to update in this endpoint uh, we are just attaching this uh, fields for which we want to update and we will just update we will just call this method patch async and this will update that list fields right so in this way uh, using the sharepoint graph api endpoints we can fetch the access token we can fetch the site data we can fetch the list data and also we can update the list data thank you friends thank you so much